Well, good morning everybody. Steve, VK2UD. Now I mentioned that, well I mentioned my call sign in a second. From Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. Today, I'm on my way to that annual amateur radio event. Hence I mentioned my call sign. I'm an amateur radio operator, for those who didn't know. I'm not sure how you don't know by now, but anyhow. That's irrelevant, isn't it? Today I'm on my way to the Wyong Amateur Radio Field Day. Where uh, amateur radio operators from around Australia, and in some cases from around the world, come together once a year at the central coast of Wyong. Now there's a couple of YouTube people that I know of that'll be there. They have four wheel drive channels. Uh, but they're also amateur radio operators, so if I get a chance to talk to those guys, I will. I might give you a quick insight into the other side of the things I do. I'm a bit of a nerd, but uh, I just thought you might be interested. If you're not interested, that's okay. Uh, skip this one and watch next week's video. But um, if you are at all interested, I hope you find this of some use. I might be able to get some information, I'm playing it by ear, I've got no idea what I'm going to film, what it's going to involve, other than amateur radio, and uh, we'll show you what I think, or what I hopefully at the time think is interesting. As you can tell, I haven't even thought about what I'm saying on this opening piece, so hope you guys enjoy the video, and we'll see you a little bit further down the track. Cheers for now. Well, we've arrived at the Wyong Field Day. So, I'll take you inside and give you a look at it. Sorry, squinting, but I reckon uh, it's better than sunnies on your head. So I'll flip the mic around and give you a look at it as we go. See you shortly. Okay, now being an amateur radio style field day, you'd expect a lot of antennas. That's my car. That's Les's car, he's a bloke I know, LT, and I'll show you around the car park and all the aerial shortly, but i just got to get something out of my car that I forgot. Silly of me, really. Alright, walking from the part of the car park I'm in, we'll take us down to another bit, and there'll be antennas everywhere. It's antenna central at field days, as you'd expect. We're all nerdy amateurs. That's what we do. So, uh, cars of all manner of antennas. Caddy and auto tuners, multi tapped aerials, they're all there to be seen. So, uh, it's a porcupine fest. A lot of people don't like the looks of antennas on cars but that doesn't seem to be the case in the amateur radio community because if we had aerials it's really hard to operate an amateur radio the whole collection anyway when i do get in here and talk to people i will show you more when there's more to show you Here's a fairly famous amateur right here, Jeff GW. Hello, Steve. How are Hello, you? Jeff. Jeff has his own YouTube channel for people interested in model cars. Check it out. I'll put links in the description. Cheers. Have a look at the car part before we go in. Fifteen bucks to get in for the day. If you're under 18, free. I don't think they're going to let me go for free, but you never know. I can only ask, can't I? Now, I've only been here a couple of minutes. Things only been open since 8.30 and I've already seen I don't know how many people walking back out with gear they've bought already to put in their cars. <laughs> oh, ground's a bit soggy, I've got joggers on. I'll go around the, the non-soggy way with joggers on. Anyway. It's all good fun. It's, it's a very nerdy event for the nerdy types. 
amateurs are a bit nerdy generally, as you'd expect. But anyhow, that's why we're a bit different. Amateurs are more different than some. This is the biggest event on the amateur radio calendar in Australia every year. So I'll pay me money and I'll go in. I've been in the gate one minute. And this is some of the gear you can buy. There's Les. Morning, how are you mate? We've got a rotatable dipole. And now we've got a smaller crowd. We'll show you again at the front. All sorts of nice toys that I can't afford, which is always the case. Anyway, we'll move on. This is into the guts of it. This is where everybody likes to hang out. There's everything you can think of for sale, radio related in here. They get a reasonable crowd, as you can see. All sorts of second air stuff, new stuff, things everywhere. I'm not going to dwell too much on the tables and the gear. And Ken, that's Ken, we go to UTC. He's actually flogging gear for a change instead of collecting it. We'll get back to you. Uh, all sorts of things to be seen in here if you're a nerdy type like us. I'll go very fast walk around and we'll do more in-depth stuff later on. As you can see, it's a radio field day, eh? so it's radio orientated. Who would have thought that? All sorts of gear in all sorts of places. Uh, Alright, how are you? I'll be back. Uh, it gets quieter as the years go on. But that looks really cool. You like that? Now not only is there gear for sale here and general meeting of the mines, but they have lectures, a bit of a bit of assorted entertainment. Look at there's all sorts of trouble over here, especially that bloke. That bloke waving. If you ever see this man in public, shoot him on sight. <laughs> so <laughs> Alright. Anyway, that's a very fast overview. We'll look at more in-depth stuff as we go on. Here's trouble. You walk around these field days and you run into Graham, VK2FA, and there's another Graham, VK2VV. You never know who you're going to find at these nerdy places. Uh, and, and these guys are if Graham's actually a video star, so he doesn't mind being on the camera, so all is fine. Yeah, so there you go. Shh, shh, don't talk about him, right? This bloke, don't talk about him. All right, we'll just stop this again. Right. In you know, the next part of this field day, eh? this is where lots of new stuff is. So, new icons. I want one of those. Remember, shoot this man on sight if you see him in the street. That was actually John, he's actually a nice person. But don't tell him I said that. Lots of other new toys. Bits and pieces, connectors, all the gear. If they're like me, it's all the gear and no idea. Lots of antennas, more connectors, adapters, more antennas. There's Graham again, you can't escape him. Antenna rotators, sorted equipment, excuse me. Uh, If you're an amateur radio guy and you're not here, why? Why are you not here? 
last Sunday in February every year. <laughs> See? Even famous people waving at me. What more could you want? Yeah. This is all the stuff. Like I said, this is a new section. Speaking of new people, look at this bloke. This is John. He's a fairly new looking dude, isn't he? Anyway, I will stop talking so I can actually talk to him. Right, after running into more people, we'll keep walking past some more new stuff. It's a popular place, as you can see. So, uh, you never know what you're going to run into, who you're going to run into, what kind of gear there is. It's gear everywhere. As I said, it's a very nerdy place. So, if you're a nerdy person like me, all this stuff suits you. Portable gear, little tiny radios to take up the bush. Anyway, that's the inside of the main building here. We'll go and look at some other stuff as we go. If I didn't mention it earlier, we're at Wyong Racecourse. And not all the fun finishes outside. Go inside the building, there's more going on. It is mostly popular for people meeting and eating. But, over at the end here, is where they have a lot of their lectures. I've probably just missed one. And we won't go in there, because we don't want to disrupt what's going on. They have lectures and information on amateur radio related topics so it looks like they're having questions in there at the moment so it all goes on at the field day so if you're a bit nerdy like me uh, you come along if you want to find out more about amateur radio send me a message and I'll point you in the direction for some amateur radio stuff I might even put some links in the description in case you'd like to find out more about it so, most of this area is just people catching up meeting which a lot of this is these guys talk to each other from all over the planet all over the country and I oh, back in a minute and they meet here because they never get to see each other anywhere else. So they talk on the radio. They all come to the field day together. Sort of together. All right, now I have to go and meet another person. So I'll say goodbye again. All right, I'm very close to finishing up filming generally around here. I'll be taking my camera and putting it back out of my car in a minute. But I'll show you all sorts of stuff. At Wyson, which is the emergency radio league of amateur, amateur radio, I used to be a member. So, uh, yeah, amateur radio is useful for emergency communications. Some people probably don't realise that, and we are involved with the VRA, so actually affiliated with them. In times of crisis, amateur radio operators quite often go out in the bush and set up repeaters and communications equipment and keep the lines of communication going when traditional stuff doesn't work phone towers go out other things go on radio still works so that's all part of it so <laughs> i'm very annoying i can be like hey, mate, how are you? hang on i'm just going to stop again it looks a lot like it looks, looks like look like dave it's pretty frightening isn't it anyway i'll be back Right, we're just leaving the Wyong race course for the 2020 Wyong Field Day, brought to you by Central Coast Amateur Radio Club. Now, hopefully this has been uh, of a little bit of interest to you guys. It's a little bit different to what I normally do, but it is another hobby that I have, so I thought you may find some interest in it. Radio has a fair association with four-wheel driving. Most of us think of our UHF CBs, but HF radio was around 
and is still used extensively for driving uh, for long distance communications uh, over sat phones in a lot of cases but uh, hopefully you didn't find this uh, too boring it is a very nerdy hobby guys I'm a bit of a nerd so what can I tell you that's just uh, how we roll anyway hopefully you found this a bit interesting uh, if not sorry about that it's just another one of the things I do uh, if you did like this video please uh, put a like on it and uh, if you're new here and four-wheel drive stuff generally interests you uh, consider subscribing if you're an old hand and you've put up with this well you know what I'm like so thanks again for uh, watching and taking the time to watch my clips traffic here is unbelievable I'm gonna try and turn out anyway we'll get there that's why I'm looking all over the shop guys because I'm waiting to try and push it into the traffic which uh, is challenging it's a bit challenging it's almost like driving in Sydney this and yet I'm in bloody Wyong anyway, here we go all good I made it. Woohoo! Alright guys, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.